Welcome to my long-term review of the Leica Q2. Now, after many years of wanting, but not actually needing a Leica, I finally bit the bullet and bought the Q2, my first ever Leica, in October 2022. In reality, it didn't get off to a great start. After just 14 days of ownership, I went out to shoot an event. The event contained lasers, the rest is history. Lasers and camera sensors do not mix. My bad, my fault. Uh, so I was a little bit gutted about that, as you would imagine. Now the thing is, in the 14 days that I did own the camera, I fell in love with it. So much so that while I was away in Germany getting repaired, I, uh, I searched online and I managed to find myself an old Leica Q. Now this thing was, it was damaged, but it was functionally okay. The back screen was dead, so everything I did, I had to do through the electronic viewfinder, which for me personally, wasn't an issue. That camera absolutely rocks. It's got the same lens, the same capabilities, just a smaller megapixel count and no weather sealing. The megapixel count didn't bother me whatsoever. 24 megapixels is, is more than enough for my requirements. The weather sealing, that was an issue. I do like to shoot in bad weather conditions and the, the lack of weather sealing on the queue had me concerned on more than one occasion. So around three months later, Leica repaired and returned my Q2. Unbelievably, they, uh, they did the repair under good faith. I can't really speak highly enough of the service. They, uh, they did the business and they did it under their steam. The only thing it cost me was uh, shipment to and from Germany, which, uh, I mean, small price to pay. So once the Q2 was back with its weather sealed body and lens, I, uh, I decided reluctantly to sell the Leica Q. Now, since getting the Leica Q2 back, I have used it extensively to shoot protests, street photography, sports photography, weather events, landscape photography, macro photography, nightscapes, you name it, I've shot it, anything and everything, almost anything and everything. So, let's cut to the chase. After all this experience, what about the Q2 do I like? And more importantly, what about the Q2 do I not like? We'll start with the likes first, the good stuff, and then we'll get to the bad stuff. So the likes, and when I say likes, I actually mean loves, because I don't like these things about the Q2. I actually absolutely love these features. So first of all, we'll go with build quality. It is an absolute brick. It's solid, it's got fantastic ergonomics, and it just feels good in the hands. Number two, that lens. 28 millimeter, 1.7 Summilux lens. And a lot of people online, they say that the 28 millimeter is more like a 24 millimeter or even wider. Me, I don't know about that. And to be fair, I don't really care about that. All I know is it's just an absolutely fantastic lens. It lets me get close enough to people, I mean so close to people, at protests and other events. I'm cracking photographs off in people's faces. They haven't got a clue. I shoot a lot of landscapes and this thing, I've never looked at any photograph that I've got from this camera and thought, geez, I wish that was a bit wider. If I do need wider, I'll just walk back a bit further. Simple. Number three, it's the macro feature. It is so easy to engage the macro feature on this lens. And um, once you do engage macro and you're getting in close to subjects, it opens up a complete new world for me. Macro is something I've never really been interested in. I have dabbled with it from time to time. And when I've done it, I've enjoyed it, but it's not something I do on a regular occasion. I use it more and more just on the fly. And I absolutely love having that ability to get close into subjects. So that is a big, big plus. Next, we have the weather sealing. I know it's not 100% weather sealed. I don't know the actual number. I'm not bothered about researching the actual number. All I know is that when I go out with this camera in bad weather conditions, which I love to do, you know, occasionally we get some really extreme weather. I love to get out there and try and record it. I've shot all sorts with this camera, all sorts of conditions. And honestly, it has never ever once concerned me that I could be doing the camera any damage. I just love that, I really do appreciate that. And the thing is about my cameras, if anybody knows anything about me and anything about the way I handle my cameras, I certainly don't baby them. They are tools, they are meant to be used. If they can put up with my heavy use, all good. If they can't, they get replaced, simple as that. The Q2 has never battered an eyelid. Apart from lasers, keep away from lasers. Man, Jesus, definitely keep away from lasers. The ease of use of this thing, it is absolutely amazing. Everything you need is just within easy reach. There's no multi-page menus with sub-menus and sub-menus and dig deeper to get this, that and the other. It is so easy to find the setting you need. It's a simple camera. The camera does not get in your way. It just lets you take photographs. When you need to change the setting, it allows you to do so with absolutely no fuss whatsoever. It is just a fantastically organized, laid out camera. Love it. Okay, the next pro. So the size of this thing, 
It is small enough to be discreet, but man, it packs a punch. It punches well above its weight and its size. It just, <laughs> it just totally fits my needs for most personal projects. Now, I'm definitely no pixel peeper. I'm absolutely definitely no colour scientist. I know one thing about the images from the Leica Q2. They are different. I don't know how, I don't know why, but they are just different. They are absolutely pure quality. I've never taken a photograph with a Q2 and looked at it and thought, that's crap. It just nails the photographs every time. All right, next pro would be the battery life. It's awesome. This battery has never failed on me once. I did buy a spare battery just in case, and in all honesty, never used it. It's never been out of the bag. It's still there, waiting for the day it is needed. But so far, the battery life, I can't fault it. I think we're up to point number nine now. The price of the Q2. Okay, it's not cheap, but it's, it is total quality. And with total quality, comes a cost. Having a fixed lens camera makes you work. It makes you think out of the box. You know, you're not just sat there in one comfortable place and think, oh, I need a longer lens, I'll stick a longer lens on. No, the Leica Q2 makes you get out of your car, get off your backside, walk a little bit closer, get your image. Value for money, I think the Leica Q2 is, is spot on. I cannot fault it. Okay, point number 10, Leica service. I mean, what can I say? I killed the camera, my own fault, stupidity, after 14 days, Leica did the repair, sent it back to me, free of charge. I mean, oh, I'll be forever grateful to Leica for doing that because I was going through a serious amount of stress, waiting all my life to get the Leica, killing it after 14 days, man, I went through the mill. But Leica came to my rescue and, and they were just faultless. And finally, it's only a small point, but it's a, it's a valid point, the LFI gallery. I've uploaded quite a few photographs to the LFI gallery. I've had quite a lot of photographs accepted and published on their website. And I, mate, honestly, it just it gives you a bit of a buzz. I don't put a lot of faith and credence, kudos into online galleries and online competitions. But you know, I mean, it's, it just gives you a buzz. It does give you a buzz. The Like A Photos app, I've never had an issue with. If I want to get a photograph off my camera, onto the phone, do a little bit of processing, send it away real quick, it's never failed me, so I really can't fault it. So that, guys, is the pros. Now, the bit you're waiting for, the stuff that I don't like about the Leica Q2. This won't take long. Number one, long exposure noise reduction. It cannot be disabled on the Leica Q2. In my experience, it's not actually that much of a major issue. The only thing I found it a pain in the backside for is shooting fireworks. You take a six, seven, eight second photograph of fireworks and then you've got to wait six, seven, eight seconds for the noise reduction to complete before you can take the next photograph. And all the time you're waiting, there's fireworks popping off left, right and center. So you're missing a lot of good stuff. So, you know, for fireworks, the Leica Q2 is not your camera. Thankfully, I only shoot them a couple of times a year, so it's not a big deal to me, really. The next negative that I initially found with the Leica Q2 was the amount of noise at high ISOs. I found them pretty ordinary, to be honest. You know, not very good at all compared to other cameras that I've got. But I have since found Leica's files out of the Q2 that I found personally, they respond really well to Lightroom's noise reduction. I've put it in the negatives, but really, I don't think it is that much of an issue. As you can see, I'm really scratching to find negatives with this camera. Let's move on to Q2 negative number four. Again, this is not a major, but the camera has not got a flippy, tilty screen. Personally, I shoot a lot of low angle photographs and a tilty, flippy screen would be really, really welcomed by my aging knees. But then again, at five foot six, I'm lower to the ground than most normal people, so it's not a major issue. I've not got to go down that far to get the shot that I want. And that is the sum total of the negatives that I can come up with for the Leica Q2. As you can see, there's not much and they're not major issues. That's just a quick down and dirty long-term review. I hope you've enjoyed the sample photographs. I hope you've taken a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of confidence maybe from my review. If you are thinking about getting a Leica Q2, it's 2024, I've not checked the price. The Leica Q3 is out. So I would imagine there'll be a few Leica Q2s out there going for a nice price. Even better still, if you're thinking about getting into the Leica Q system, go find yourself a Leica Q, the original, the OG. That is a fantastic camera. Just be careful with it in bad weather. Other than that, go for your life. All right, guys, all the best. Until next time, thanks for watching. Catch you later.